Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and in today's video I'm showing you guys how I slay this wig from Eyeshow Hair. First of all, I am not naked. I am wearing a tank top or a tube top, uh, but it is 30 degrees right now and I'm super hot. There is no AC, there is no fan in this house because we're not used to this heat in this country. It's always cold and rainy and we get like five days of heat throughout the whole year. So, I was not prepared for this. That's why I'm filming in the living room because it's a little cooler here. I just wanted to say I'm not naked. So yeah, today's video is brought to you by Eyeshow Hair. They sent me this wig. This is their Loose Deep Wave 24 inch Human Hair Lace Front Wig. That was a long name. Before we head into this video though, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me if you did. I really want to reach 10k subscribers. And also, I upload every Sunday. So make sure to turn on the notification bell so you stay updated. And lastly, yeah, follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Egg Guy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care of yourself, stay safe. I hope that my videos and my channel is functioning as kind of like a safe place or to distract yourself from everything that's been going on. But even though everyone is going back to normal programming, like posting videos, posting content on Instagram, whatever, black lives still matter. So you can find some more information on that in the description box, um, links, funds that you can donate to, petitions, all of that stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to say stay safe, take care of your mental health, and do lots of self-care. Without further ado, let's just head straight into the video. Today's video is brought to you by Eyeshow Hair. Uh, they reached out to me and sent me their wig, and we're just going to install it and slay the wig. For the first time, I actually put some time and effort into plucking this wig because I wanted to practice my plucking skills. So I bleached the knots and I plucked it. I don't know what you guys think of it, but yeah, I plucked it. I'm not too happy with it. I feel like it kind of looks a little, uh, what's it called, patchy, but it is what it is. I just need to keep on practicing until I can pluck like a wig stylist, <laughs> basically. Um, I just put it in braids because, I don't know why actually. You know when you're just doing random stuff to make yourself feel like you're being productive? But really, you're just avoiding that one big task that you have to do. That was me. That's why I plucked this wig. That's why I bleached it. <laughs> That's why I braided it in three braids. I did not need to do that. But yeah. So, by the way, again, like always, I have my hair in two braids. And I just pinned it up. Fun fact. I tried to teach myself how to cornrow today. Uh, I used Dope Ethiopian's video. And... I really understood the technique but when I try it on my own hair it's just like it gets all messy and tangled up and stuff and I was hot and I was just like okay now is not the right time to do this so yeah that's my update on learning how to cornrow <laughs> so first things first let's put some foundation on the inside of the wig so that the lace will match your skin tone. Uh, this lace is, I think, transparent lace because it doesn't look brown. And I'm just using some foundation to do that. I put some foundation on the inside of the wig. Now I'm going to clean my skin around my hairline with some alcohol. My alcohol's almost finished, but it's sold out everywhere. Okay, it's a little on the loose side, so I'm gonna tighten it in the back. Um, but now is the time to kind of see how it fits before we cut the lace as well. So in the back you have like this adjustable strap, basically like a bra strap, that's how it works. Um, and then you can just tighten it a little. I feel like Moana with this top and this hair. So I took off the wig and I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut off the lace. So first you can cut off the lace in the back. Now, you don't need to be um, really precise with this. It's gonna be <laughs> hidden anyways. And then I'm gonna cut off the lace as well. I always struggle with this part. I basically have sideburns and 
this part never sticks that well so I can probably glue this down like with the got to be black glue and then do the rest with the free spray so that's what I'm gonna do I don't know if I plucked it too much I don't know what I think of the plucking but we will see about that later let's get started we're all up close and personal right now so you guys can see what I'm doing now this is gonna get a little messy because it's very fluid so make sure to keep some tissue with you so you can wipe it off and then we're gonna blow dry it for a couple seconds put it on and blow dry it until it's dry I haven't glued down a wig in what feels like a month Okay, because I glued it down a little too much to the front, uh, there wasn't any spray here. So you can either spray it again, but it will get a little messy. So what I prefer is to just stick the back of my comb into the got to be glue and then just apply it to the lace that is lifting. You guys can see the wig is installed it took me a while <laughs> I was just jamming to my music and gluing this wig down I am really happy with how it looks to be honest I still struggle a little with the dry white spray slash glue stuff because when this dries down and you start touching it it turns like you get like these white flakes kind of but to be honest overall it's pretty good Uh, I do feel like I got a whole facelift, but that's okay. What I'm going to do next before doing baby hairs and styling the hair, I'm going to apply some uh, powder to the hairline so that the lace like matches me perfect and blends in with my skin. Okay, so the wig is glued on, the lace is melted into my skin with some makeup. Now I'm going to do the baby hairs. I don't know if I should style it. I'm probably gonna curl the hair because this is a braid out, so this is not the natural texture. But it's not too different from this, to be honest. It's a bit like the, this has really straight ends because I braided it, of course. But I really like the natural texture of the hair, actually. Uh, now the question is, do we do a middle part? No, I'm not gonna do a middle part because we've already had a middle part. Oh my god, I love this wig. I just love this when, when you know, this hair, any type of hair does this. I love it. Like, guys, do I not look like Moana right now? I really like this hair, wow! I really like how it looks, um, the install was pretty good. Looks kind of realistic. Let me do the baby hairs first and then we can decide on the hair. So let's part. It is a 13 by 6. So there's a deep middle part all the way up until the back. But the side part is like a few inches I don't know inches to be honest we measure our stuff in centimeters but when you do a side part you can't do like that deep side part um, to be honest I'm fine with that I don't really care about it too much the hair is super soft like it doesn't tangle I am doing a side part so I'm going to use my hot comb to make it a little flat and then we're going to do the baby hairs 
and then I'm going to curl the hair with my curling iron. So while the hot comb is heating up, I just wanted to share the details of this hair with you guys. This hair is from Aisho Hair. It is the Loose Deep Wave Virgin Remy Human Hair Lace Front Wig. And this hair is 24 inches long, as you can see. It comes like to my belly button, basically. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see my hair here and you can see like maybe three hairs here because my hairline is like really messy. Like we don't even have to talk about it because <laughs> it's a very emotional issue. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm going to make edges here or baby hair. I'm going to do a baby hair here and a swoop here. That's my plan. And maybe one here, but since this will be falling to this side, doesn't really matter. Um, although I have to say I'm looking at myself in a viewfinder. Something that I struggle with with every wig install, I hate making baby hairs because I always end up doing too much or making them too thick or whatever. So we're going to try to keep it natural today. So now I'm just trying to see like what it's gonna look like. I think this hair also has baby hairs, but it's not that much. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pluck a little, although this is quite thin already, so I don't need to pluck too much. Okay, now that I've, sh I've sectioned it off and plucked it a little, as you can see, they're very thin. I don't know if this is good, but we're gonna do it anyways. Um, I'm going to... Cut it with this eyebrow razor. And there we go. <laughs> it looks like facial hair or something. Like, you know, the, what's it called? Peach fuzz. That's how little hair this is. We're gonna try it out with some hair mousse. I'm not gonna put it directly on the thing because I feel like when I do that, the lace starts coming off. So I prefer to just do this. And then because the mousse on its own is not really strong enough for me, I put a little bit of gel. You can use got to be gel. Um, I just use my own gel that I use for my own hair, I mean. Okay, let's do the second one. My eyes are starting to hurt from looking sideways. For the first time in my life, I've done this cute little baby hair swoop by my ear. I'm usually very basic when it comes to um, baby hairs. Okay, so the baby hairs are done. Before I'm gonna curl my hair, I kind of wanna pluck the parting a little because as you can see, it is quite thick. I'm just gonna put some powder on it. You know what, I have to be honest, Colors are nice, like brown, blonde, whatever. They, they are nice, but nothing hits like black hair or like natural dark brown, 1B, whatever you want to call it. Or this hair color is just the best. Like it never gets old. So let me just curl my hair and then I'll be right back with you guys. So I was gonna do a full face of makeup, but then I was like, it is way too hot to do that right now. So, I just put on some mascara and some lip gloss and a tiny little bit of concealer and I'm not gonna lie, I've never worn this little makeup as a look. <laughs> um, I always do either full face or no makeup. So this is new to me but I really like it to be honest. I need to get used to it. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. As you can see, this is the end result. So again, this is the Loose Deep Wave Human Hair Wig in 24 inches and it's from Aisho Hair. I'll leave all the details in the description box down below. I really like the hair. It's super soft. It was really easy to curl. Um, 
there wasn't much shedding when I washed the hair There was quite some shedding when I was brushing it just now when it was dry, but it wasn't anything crazy I really really like the lace the lace is quite thin and very soft as well Sometimes you have lace that is super thick and very rough But this was like really nice lace to work with and the hair is super soft as well It doesn't tangle at all so yeah, I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've made it this far, make sure to subscribe. I know you're binge watching all my videos right now. <laughs> I'm joking, but um, I really wanna get to 10K followers. So if you could subscribe, that will mean the world to me. I upload every Sunday, so make sure to turn on the notification bell as well so that you stay updated. And if you want to see more of my daily life, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Lillian's Egg Guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!